Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the Apache and we're looking at a really powerful function called the shot page. So we've flown several Apache missions, myself and my friends, and we operate as a data link unit in a single flight. We fly until we find a series of ground targets and then we start shooting them. But the problem we found is that we always end up shooting at the same targets. What we need is a way of deconflicting which target each of us shoots at when there is a big clump of targets. And that's where the shot page comes in handy. So the shot page can be accessed from the TSD and then go to coordinate and then go to shot. The shot page is a very simple database. It just logs any target that you've shot a Hellfire missile at. As well as my shots, it also logs my primary data link members shots, assuming they've sent me the required BDA report. So the first thing I need to do is start shooting. Let's just have me shooting first of all, and I'll do it as simple as possible. I'm hovering here. There's a bunch of tracked vehicles and wheeled vehicles ahead. So very simply, I'm going to get my George menu up. I'm assuming you can all do this. I'm sure you can. I'm going to select a Hellfire missile first, a laser guided variant of the Hellfire missile. I'm going to change my ROE. And I'm going to ask George, my co-pilot, to find a target. So slaving, and I can even see what he's looking at. If I go there, he's looking at a list of vehicles at the bottom left of the screen. And I'm going to choose a T-55, and I'm going to ask him to engage. And let me check. I've got my master arm on, and I have. And he's going to fire a missile, and there's the missile. Pause. Note, we've now got an entry in my shot page. It does not record the damage done by the missile because it doesn't know that. It just records what you shot at. Whether the missile hits or misses is not important to the shot page. It's just what's been shot at. Unpause. In this case, I'm sure it will go ahead and kill the baddie. Pop. So what we can see is a list. One entry because one missile fired. First, we have the entry number, 1 to 16, for missiles that I, in my own ship, have fired. If we go and rearm with more Hellfires and attack a 17th target, it will start overwriting at 1 again to 16. So it overwrites itself once it gets to 16. So missile 1 was fired at this target. Because it was not fired by the fire control radar, it doesn't actually know what target it was shot at. Or should I say the system doesn't know. George does and I know, but the system doesn't know. So it just puts a nominal target, a square. Next, what type of missile was fired? SAL means laser guided hellfire. The shot was fired at that Zulu time and it was fired by our own ship. That's us. We fired it. The location that the missile was shot at in expanded UTM or MGRS coordinate. And that's this guy at the bottom here. Right. Let's go and follow up with a radar guided missile fired by George, not via the fire control radar. I'm going to change the type of missile. We are now an RF type missile. Let's find a new target over there. Pip, and he'll fire that when he's ready. Oh, no, we need to select a target. Uh, let's select a, uh, that one there, BTR, fire. All right, it's in the report now. So, shot two was fired at a nominal target again because we don't know the classification because it was not via FCR. It was an RF-type missile, a radar missile, and everything else is the same as before, obviously, at a different location. Next, let's use the fire control radar. So, I have my mast mounted assembly equipped. I go to fire control radar here. I set my fire control radar as my active site. Master arm is on. I start scanning. You can see uh, shot cues here. The crosses here on the FCR show the targets that I shot at. My current target is going to be this guy here. So I'm going to action my Hellfire missile and I'm going to pull the trigger and take the shot. And we can, see, in fact, why don't we just do a load of them? More. 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 And so on. Uh, right, so first thing we can say is that we can jump to a second page, which we will do once we have more than six shot cues. We can see that shots three to seven were done by fire control radar because they can tell us what type of vehicle. That sign there, the H type sign, means it was at a tracked vehicle. It was that type of missile and all the other stuff is as before. We can also delete shot data here though it will only delete shots via the data link. 
so it will not delete my own. It's just, yeah. And that's it as far as ownership is concerned. Welcome back, viewers. Now we're going to show how this can be used in live combat. So I've reset the scenario. I'm here, and I've now got my friend Matrix here. Hello, Matrix. Good morning, Ken. Matrix, right. Uh, let me get myself set up. I'm going to go pop. I'm going to go pop. Can you please shoot, let's say, uh, six Hellfires uh, via your fire control radar at the hostiles uh, far at will? Rifle. Okay, uh, I've only identified four tanks and five wheeled vehicles. Roger, did you shoot uh, all six missiles? Negative, only four. Roger, okay. Uh, in that case, when you're ready, can you please send me a, a BDA report? Will do. BDA report received. Thank yep, thank you. I'm now going to store that, viewers. So remember, we go com, we go message, receive. There's Matrix's report. Oh, you've sent two. Did you send two in error? Probably did, uh, didn't probably, you? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. It'll be the same thing, viewers. Uh, they are come from G2, which is Matrix. I'm going to select well one of them and store. And that's going to, there you go, populate my shot page. Right, viewers. So the data linked members, i.e. not the own ship, populate slots 17 and onwards. I think it's up to 128. Sorry if I've got that slightly wrong. And it works the same. If it gets to the end of the list, it starts taping over at the beginning again. So we shot four. It tells me it's from a data link source, but it won't tell me which source that is. That's always interesting. I don't know why it says that. But anyway, it's not me that shot that target. Importantly, it's told me what it shot at. Tracked vehicle, tracked vehicle, tracked vehicle, tracked vehicle. So we know all, we know all four tanks have been destroyed, and you can probably see where this is going now. I'm going to get my fire control radar up. I'm going to site select it. I'm going to put my eye hats on. I'm going to take off. So obviously, viewers, we know the tanks have been taken out. I've now got to shoot the... Um, the non-tracked uh, vehicles, and that will show how useful this is at attacking this kind of target. Right, that's probably good enough, so I'm going to turn my fire, I'm going to start scanning. Pip. All right. Um, now, note it still shows the tracked vehicles viewers, and that's because it doesn't know whether they're dead or alive. It, you know, they're still there. To a radar, they still look pretty much the same. What I'm going to do is press NTS up here to not select a tracked vehicle. So, no, 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 no. Right, so I'm now shooting at... The wheeled vehicles. Um, I'm going to waz my missile. I think that's it. Start shooting. One, two, three, four, last one, five. So I've shot at the wheeled vehicles. He shot at the track vehicles. We're perfectly deconflicted. And I can see my entries one to five here are my wheeled vehicles. I guess there's only one thing for me to show now, and that is me sending my BDA to Matrix. Okay, I've hopped through to the front seat and I've let my AI, ta AI take over flying. Hopefully he will not crash us. So I'm going to go to report. I'm going to send a battle damage assessment. I'm going to send my own report. It's already selected. Up here, who do I want to send it to? I'm going to send it to team member G2, Pip. And then I'm going to go send. The data link's all automatically set up. Uh, let me know if you receive that matrix. Receive data link message. Right. Out of interest, go to your shot page from your TSD coord and uh, see if you've got some... Uh, some bits in there. Yeah, a firm. I have several shots and several from Datalink as well. Beautiful. That shows the power of the shot page and why it's so useful to us. I hope that was useful and bye bye.